Hey guys, today we are going to look at proportional relationships from tables. We're going to answer the question, how can I find the rate of change and write equation from proportional tables? So the rate of change describes how one quantity changes compared to another. In proportional relationships, the rate of change is the same thing as that constant of proportionality k, which is the ratio of y divided by x. And then the equation to represent the proportional relationship is y equals kx, where k is the rate of change slash the constant of proportionality. So all of the tables on this page are proportional. And since we know that to find the rate of change, all I'm going to do is y divided by x with some ordered pair in the table. And then after I have k, I can write the equation in the form y equals kx. So let's start with number one to find the rate of change or constant of proportionality. I'm just going to do y divided by x. And I'm just going to use this first ordered pair. So I will do 14 divided by 2. And 14 divided by 2 is 7, so that means the constant of variation is 7, or the rate of change is 7. So then the equation would be y equals 7x. Okay, let's look at number 2, same thing to find the rate of change or the constant of proportionality. I'm going to do k equals y divided by x, and I'll just use that first ordered pair of 3, 2, so I'll do 2 over 3. And that does not simplify any further, so that means my rate of change is 2 over 3. And then my equation would be y equals 2 thirds x. Okay, next one, rate of change is the same thing as the constant of proportionality, so I'm going to do y divided by x. I'm just going to use the first ordered pair, and I'll do 18 divided by 4. Both of those numbers are divisible by 2, so I'll do 9 over 2, which you could leave it like that. I'm going to change it to a decimal, though, to 4.5. So my constant of proportionality or rate of change is 4.5. So that means my equation is y equals 4.5x. Okay, let's look at four. It says Jason earns $20 for each yard he mows. Create a table to show how much Jason will earn for mowing four yards in total. So we want to figure out how much money Jason's going to earn for one, two, three, or four yards. He's going to earn $20 each for the yards. So after one yard, that would be $20. After two yards, that would be 40 because two times 20 is 40. Then 3 times 20 is 60, and 4 times 20 is 80. So we just used that rate of change to fill out the table. I don't need to calculate it. I already know what it is. The rate of change is 20. He's earning $20 for each yard. So that means the equation would be y equals 20x. Okay, let's look at this question. It says, Jason has a goal to save $130. Will he reach his goal after mowing six yards? So six yards would be X. So what I'm going to do is replace X in my equation with six and see what his total Y will be. So it'll be y equals 20 times 6. So that means after 6 yards, Jason would have 20 times 6 is $120. So will he reach his goal after mowing 6 yards? No. He will only have $120, so he would be $10 short. All right, let's look at five. It says the pattern shown represents a proportional relationship. Create a table based on the number of stars, then find the rate of change and equation. So the first figure I can see has three stars. Then the second figure has one, two, three, four, five, six. And the last figure has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stars. Okay, so one, figure one has three stars, figure two has six, and figure three has nine. So let's find the rate of change by doing y divided by x, or three divided by one, which would be three. So the rate of change is three, so that means the equation is y equals three x, which matches our table. I am multiplying x by three to get the number of stars. 
Okay, last one says a fourth grade class takes a field trip to an aquarium. Tickets cost $8 each. Which table best represents this proportional relationship? So that means I should see that multiplicative relationship of the number of tickets times eight to get me the cost. Well, I noticed that all of these tables start with 12 and 12 times eight is $96. So I can go ahead and cross out table A and table D because they do not have the correct amount for 12 tickets. Table B and C have the correct amount for 12 tickets. And then table B and C have different amounts for the cost of 14 tickets. So I'm gonna do 14 times eight to figure out which has the correct cost for 14 tickets. So eight times four is 32, and then eight times one is eight, plus three is 111, sorry, 112. So 14 tickets cost $112, which table C has. So that's gonna be the correct one. 